This is Mike and Dan at Capital District Sport and Fitness, and today we're going to go over the one arm trap raise. Now this is an exercise that we'll use as a filler or as an active rest during maybe a lower body lift or a bigger upper body lift, um, or we'll use it as a warm up with some of our overhead athletes. So what you see commonly with our lifters is that bigger muscles tend to get used, whether that's our lats or our pecs uh, or our upper traps while we're training in the gym. And same with overhead athletes, they become more lat dominant. And when that lat becomes a little bit more dominant, we're gonna have a hard time getting our shoulder blade up overhead in a proper position to throw. So this one arm trap raise is gonna be a good way to train your lower traps, a muscle that's gonna kind of pull that shoulder blade back to keep it in a good position and help it rotate up on your upper back. So we can get set up on a table or an incline bench if you have it, but you're gonna start with a straight line, your shoulder right down to your hand. Now we want the shoulder blade to drive a lot of the motion here so what you're gonna do is think about keeping your elbow straight and moving your thumb up towards the ceiling. So Dan's gonna go through a rep right here. And what you'll commonly see like Dan's doing right here is that we don't create enough space in between the front of your shoulder and the table and that shoulder blade isn't tipping back enough. I and mean, that's, that's what those lower traps are doing. So what we wanna do is think about when you're going up towards the ceiling with your thumb is for your shoulder blade to tip back and move towards your spine and now we see Dan has his little window in between his armpit and the table. Let's lower down again. Dan's gonna bring us through one more rep. And Dan, if you hold at the top, do you feel back here working? We wanna make sure we feel kind of back here in this lower trap area in between your shoulder blade and your spine doing good work. And let's control it back down. So we'll typically do these for either eight or 10 reps per side, holding at the top to make sure that we feel the back of that shoulder blade doing good work. 